Well, hello, stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, and it's Wednesday, and that means it's time for stamping through my stash, and I'm really excited to bring to you Queen Bee. At least, yeah, it's called Queen Bee, and it's a gorgeous stamp set. Um, you can do lots of vintage things with it, which is right up my alley, and it also comes with some beautiful dyes. So the purpose of stamping through my stash is that you get to see every single stamp in the set inked up, um, and every die used and then at the end I make a card with you but the focus is not so much the card as it is just exploring the stamp set. So I am a demonstrator in Canada and in Europe. I married a Dutchman last year and I followed my heart across the ocean and I'm living in the Netherlands for four years till he sells his greenhouse. But in the meantime I'm maintaining my business in Canada and I started one in the Netherlands which means I can sell to all the European markets. So if you're watching me there and you want to order for me, that would make my day. Online orders are always, they're the my bread and butter. So um, yeah, thank you in advance for your support. And I'm always looking to grow my team and there's a warm and welcome spot waiting for you. But this video is not about that. It is about showing off this stamp set. So let's have a look. Here is Queen Bee and I'm just angling it so you don't see the glare. There's a really nice border stamp. There's some background stamps. Um, look at this one here. The words are hidden in there. Garden, B. Um, oh, goodness. No, I don't know what the one word says. Elder? It doesn't say elder. Um, bloom, life. Oh, it says flower. Flower, bloom, life, miracles, honey, gather, grow, and spring. And there's a crown and a beautiful branch of flowers. And then there is this big bee. And it's a very decorative bee whimsical and there's especially a flower here that in case you don't want the heart on your bee you can put your little flower on that spot okay and then there's a little crown for whoever's queen for the day so here are the dies and then i'll show i'll show you them all cut out and stamped as well but there's um detailed dies those two layer over top of each other this one cuts out the happy birthday or the queen um, there's some beautiful foliage. Yeah, let's take a look. I think I may have forgotten to do, there's a tiny little heart die too that cuts out the little heart there. So here we go. I have stamped this bee in black on crumb cake for a vintage card. Here is the queen stamped out. You know what, I'm wondering if I can just do it on the, this might be better than on white. Yeah, that's better. Here's a great big detail leaf they're not coming in any order i just have a whole little baggie of them here is the, the flower and look at this pretty dye i did it in green and in black and in glitter paper and when i have all these pieces then i can create with them later and that's fun here's the little detailed bee and then take a look. You can do it in, let's see. That is crushed curry. And then look, you can go over top of it with the black one. Oops. Well, I, I should have had one done, but you get the idea. So there's a honeycomb. So the little flower. And it's it's detailed too. And then there's this one. See that one can go over top of the Art, like so but there's also the little tiny heart and I'll have to see if I have that one or not I've done it in crumb cake oh yeah there's the little crown here it's coming doing my best there and I'm trying to see if I have anything else that I missed yeah oh yeah there's tiny little bee it's coming here and it also has a tiny little flower on it, if you can see. Okay, so I'm going to just do the die cut of the heart, and then you can see that one as well. Okay, so I die cut the tiny little heart. Let's move it here. See how little it is? And now we're going to put it on the bee. So I'm going to take a little bit of liquid adhesive and just tap it here. There. And then I actually used my pick-me-up tool, and I've never used this with success, but there it goes. 
we'll see what happens. And then we're going to put it right down where it needs to go. I think I added too much glue there. Well, it's there. I'm going to let it dry. I see a little piece of, of the pick me up tool because mine's quite, it's been pretty old. So we turn it and then it comes up. But we'll just let that be. And we're going to put the bee away for now and we'll have a look at him later and see if he can be resurrected. So now we're going to move all those good things out of the way here. And I'll play with them later. And now I have taken it ahead. I put all the stamps from the stamp set on the Stamparatus. And I've got a piece of basic white. Oh, let's put this one here again. Okay, see? We're going to ink them all up in black and then you can see what they look like stamped and then I'll tell you which dot which stamps have dies and which ones don't so here we go got my memento ink now I re-inked this just the other day so I'm wondering if it's going to be too juicy or if it's going to be just right And then once I have these all stamped up, I can die cut them too. So it really is a great idea to stamp up your, to ink up all your stamps right away. It's always different when you stamp them than when you just see them in the box. There we go. I think that's good. Doesn't that look great? So the, these all have dies. The only one that doesn't have a die is this border right here. And that's great for the edge of a card, the bottom of a card. It's also great for collage stamping. So now you've seen it, you've seen the dies, you've seen the stamps. Now we're going to make our card. Okay, I'm back guys. So I just wanna say that this polka dot paper that I'm going to use, this black and white polka dot paper is retired. Um, I am casing a card from Laura Milligan and Laura is the designer of this stamp set. It's her million dollar stamp set. And she used the perfectly penciled paper, but I don't have any of that here in, in Europe. And I just thought, I'm going to use what I have for once instead of getting everything. So this is beautiful paper, and I have it in Chatham. And I think I need to order more because it really, black and white paper is always so nice. Um, so let me give you the measurements. I'm going to be using, um, my card is a European. It's an A4, so it's a little bit longer. It's four and a and an eighth inch wide, and it's almost five and seven eighths long. So yeah, it's one sixteenth of an inch shorter than that. Um, so you're getting a bit longer of a card. Now you can do whatever you want. I've cut this piece of black, and the black polka dot piece is three and a half inches by five and a half. So three and a half by five and a half. You could cut your cardstock to be a bit bigger, um, I love the long skinniness of it, and that's going to go a bit on an angle. And then here, the, the die is from Basic Borders Dies, really cute, and the color is Crushed Curry. So I've just adhered that to my black piece, and that's going to go on here. Then we have a piece of time worn type. I'm trying to get it to angle so you can see. There you go, you can see the texture in this. And it really mimics that um, texture stamp from this one here. There. So I thought that was really cool. And it is three and three eighths by five and a quarter. And now we're going to put it together. Now I have this. And we're going to use two little guys like so. I'm just laying it out for you. And then I have happy birthday where I've put the little flower on and I just use the blend to color the inside of it to make it look more fun. And you can see I've just attached those on the back. Now we're going to take a big white bow of twine. It's a little twine, sometimes twists a little bit, that's okay. We're going to grab a glue dot, put that on and put the twine bow on there. Give it a good press. Well, I'm looking for my pokey tool. Here it is. Take it off with the pokey tool. There. And then we're going to put it on the back of this. So now we have our bow. It's still wanting to twist. That's okay. That's going to lay down here. 
with an other bow. This ribbon, this gigam ribbon looks so good with the black and the white. So we're going to do the same thing with the ribbon. Shove it onto a blue dot there. And then we're going to put it so there. And then it's just going to go on like that. So now we're going to put our card together. Okay, so we're going to put this piece together, put a little bit of um, liquid adhesive on the back of this white piece. And I'm going to offset it slightly. Like so. And then we're going to build our beautiful flower. So I've just stamped this in memento and then colored it with the Daffodil Delight blends just on the flowers. I've left the leaves just black and white. And this is going on flat because I'm going to pop up the same. So yeah, this card has been laying in pieces for a while. I've been wanting to make it since on stage in Vienna, which was November. Um, but it's been back ordered because it was so popular. So I could, you know what? I might just use glue dots for this. Let's see. And before I put them on, I kind of need to eyeball where my saying is going to go because I don't want these hiding too much. So this is going to go like so. And so I want that to go there and then the other one going the other way i just love the black the white and the yellow and of course this is not my creation it's laura's but i think it's so fitting she designed the stamp set it's nice to make a card that she actually envisioned for it there and now we can pop that up Oh, that looks so nice. So a few dimensionals. And then all we need to do, let's see, I'm going to move that this way. That one right close. And I'll be making more with this for sure. Here we go. And then we just need to add our little B. So we'll put a dimensional, maybe I think one big one will fit on that B. Let's have a look. No, you know what? Don't, 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 don't. You don't want dimensionals sticking out past. I'm just going to put one little one on. I could have maybe done two, but this is a pretty sturdy piece of cardstock. So it'll be fine. The one kind of flying down. And now we're going to put it, oops, got pieces sticking in here on our card base. But before I do that, I just want to add a little bit of um, vintage to the card. There's a little bit of a border showing. And I'm just going to do a little bit of that. And I don't know how much of it we're going to see, but. There. Well, maybe this one will go on straight. Yeah. Okay. Get rid of the ink pad. Isn't it jarring to see that color on the back of the black and white? Yeah. I believe this was a host uh, paper last year in the annual catalog. And it was a huge pack. So on one side was black and white. So I'm happy to be using it. Now let's get in the picture. And I use the decorative borders dies a lot as well. I'll grab them for a minute that you can see what else is in there. So here we have it. So basic borders dies. I put my dies in a clear stamp case and then I put a label on the side and I find that super helpful. And here we have it. So we have a cloud a scalloped edged envelope, a, the zigzag that I used, and a scallopy zigzag, and then a, a, this kind of a, a flap and a, a big long curve. So it's really nice if you want to have a different kind of edge on your card. 
So I like them a lot. So I thought I would share that. Here is the finished card. And I could add some gems yet too. I haven't done that. I might do that yet. And then the last thing I promised that I would show you is the, my, my bee. And my bee has a bit of a, a flaw. So let's, I want to show you. Oops. Come on, Jackie. We're going to give him a little surgery. This is a little piece of that putty. There, gone. Now my heart is slightly crooked, so I think that the next time... Anyway, it's cute that you can change the flower into a heart. And then the other thing was I'm not sure of yet is this big wing. If you could just, you can put that over top if you want. You can put the heart over top of that too if you want. And then you get a totally different look for the bee. Now, I wouldn't, of course, do the white over top of the black. I would do crumb cake or, um, or black. So, yeah, gives you different looks. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the Queen Bee. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I need subscribers. Subscribers are always good. And I need customers. So click on the links below to shop with me. Just click on show more and then you get a whole description. So that's super helpful. And happy stamping. And remember, together we can change the world one card at a time. Have a super day. Bye.